Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering and last uh, couple of lectures I tried to concentrate on enzymes uh, that uh, I told you what we mean by enzymes and what is the classification of enzymes then I try to uh, tell that uh, what we mean by uh, inhibition of the enzymes and also uh, that you know when we talk about the enzymatic reaction kinetics the major thing that comes with with us that is the Michaelis maintained equation is largely used and uh, how the Michaelis maintained proposed their equation later on Biggs and Hold Helen they justify this Michaelis maintained equation with the help of reaction kinetics then question comes how the how the enzymatic reaction constant like uh, Vmax and Km can be estimated with the help of three different plots. One is uh, lock and K hypothesis, another is proximity effect, and there is orientation effect. The inhibition is a very important part because through inhibition we can apply this enzyme uh, uh, for enzymatic reaction kinetics for the estimation of the different complex molecules. Also, it can be used for for protection of our health to, to kill the certain infection. So this is the, the different type of inhibition we talk. We talk about the reversible inhibition, we talk about the irreversible inhibition. And, um, and finally we discuss that, uh, uh, that substrate inhibition, how substrate inhibition can be taken into account. Now today actually uh, 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 you can remember that uh, when we discuss uh, about the reactor analysis, we we have come across three different type of process. One is batch process, then CSTR, then plug flow reactor. Now those uh, we have solved for the chemical process. Now when we apply to the enzymatic reaction system, how we can determine that uh, batch time and how you de determine the space time for uh, CSTR using enzymes and how you determine the space time for the plug flow reactor and finally I want to discuss one problem and with the help of reactor analysis how it is possible to find out the reactor suppose we want to produce a certain amount of product and for getting the, the the product and uh, using the same enzymes, whether uh, batch reactor will require uh, less volume or CSTR will require less volume or plug flow reactor require that this question will be answered in one numerical problem. So first let me start with uh, this uh, how we can analyze this enzymatic reaction for the batch processes. So we, when we talk about the batch process, batch process we consider as the unsteady state process. Why? Because that uh, this is the reactor and uh, in this reactor, this is the uh, substrate you take. So you pour, put your substrate here and put your enzyme here, let the reaction take place and, uh, and we, can, we can draw the sample from here and, uh, and uh, we can monitor what is the substrate concentration at different times that we can monitor and uh, and when you when you plot that uh, concentration of substrate versus time if you if you plot this uh, plot then what will happen with respect to time that uh, substrate concentration will be decreases now if you if you make a slope at different points then what will get you will get minus ds by dt. What is ds minus ds by dt is the rate of reaction. How we can express it? Rs. Rs is the rate of reaction and this is uh, so you know if, if this is equal to if you, if you consider this the first order reaction this is k into s. So that you know that had different uh, time this is t1, this is t2, this is t3, 
this is T 4. So, at different time we have different substrate concentration. So, this is S 1, this is S 2, this is S 3. So, as the substrate concentration is changes, your rate of reaction changes. And since the rate of reaction changes, we consider it as an unsteady state conditions. So, this is exactly what we want to point out that uh, batch system is considered as an unsteady state reaction. Now, if you do the material analysis, when you go back to the reactor analysis, we use one particular equation. What is that equation? Rate of input plus rate of generation equal to rate of output plus rate of disappearance plus rate of accumulation. So, this is this is this is how this equation looks like this. Now, in case of batch process, there is no input. So, input is equal to 0, output also equal to 0. Now, there is no generation because substrate is consuming. So, what will happen? Two things simultaneously take place. One is consumption and the accumulation. So, so this will be like this. What is the consumption? Rate of consumption of substrate, we can write minus R s into V. Why minus R s into V? I explained before also. Minus R s is equal to what? Equal to minus d s by d t. Am I right? So, what is d s? d s is the concentration. What is the concentration? This is mass per unit volume. So, the when but when you do the balance, balance across the whole whole reactor. This and your reaction take place in the liquid phase only. So, we shall have to multiply this R s with V to 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 consider all the reaction that take place in the in the reaction mixture. So, this will be like this and what will be the rate of accumulation of substrate S into V D S into V by D T. Now, when you when you differentiate this V is constant, the volume of the reactor is constant. So, it will come out. So, it will be D S by D T. So, I can write minus D S by D T equal to V equal to that uh, that uh, that would be equal to minus r s and uh, then this is as per Michaelis maintain equation this will be equal to v max s k m plus s. Now, here we have shown v equal to minus r s v, v max s k m plus s. So, this is very simple that we can determine the correlation between uh, we can make a balance equation across the batch reactor. Now, uh, when we do this analysis of this equation that uh, uh, I can show you that that is like this. Now, what we have? We have uh, minus d s by d t. This will be equal to Michaelis maintain equation velocity of reaction V max s k m plus s. Am I right? Now, this uh, what I can do, I can I can take d s k m plus s I can write and this is I can write v max equal to v max s into d t. Now, s I can bring it this side, it I can bring it this side, this is I can rub it here and I can bring it this side s and this is d t. Now, if you if you solve it, uh, what you will get? You can get I can write 1 by V max, I can V max I can take this side, V max I can take common, this will be equal to K m into minus K m into d s by s plus the no, minus. So, you can write minus because minus will come here and this is will be d s, this will be d s by s into s. Am I right? So, this this will cancel and uh, so, uh, uh, this will be equal to d t. Now, uh, the uh, this uh, how we can write? This is v max minus k m. Now, what is this uh, d l n? this we can write d l n s minus this is d s, this is this is t 
And now we can do the integration. The, what is the integration I can do? This is z s 0 to s and here also is 0 to s and here this is equal to dt. This also we can we can 0 to t. Now, if you do that, then we can we will come across the equation what 1 by v max equal to k m ln s by s 0 because this was minus. So, I can I can always make it you know reverse to it as little plus and here it is minus this is s minus s 0. Now, if you plus then it will be s 0 minus s. This will be equal to like this, so this will be equal to t and this is called batch time. So, you can, if you know the value of k m and v max and uh, you, you know that uh, what is the percentage of substrate consumption is there, then you can you can you can easily find it out. Now, one thing I want to point out sometime I we can express in terms of x a uh, x s x s is what the fraction of s that is converted. How we can express is s 0 minus s by s 0. Am I right? This is fraction of x that is converted. Now, I want to if you want to write this. So, here what I can write this is 1 minus s by s 0 equal to x s. So, I can write s by s 0 equal to 1 minus x s this we can write. So, this equation I can modif modify it as V max k m ln 1 minus x s and then here, here also we can write in the form of x s because then s 0 minus s equal to x s into s 0, x s into s 0 equal to t batch. Now, why we are, we are interested for that? Suppose we want to convert 50 percent of substrate, just we put it a 0.5, x is equal to 0.5 here, and you know initial substrate concentration, we can put the value of Km, we can easily find out the value of T batch. Now, similar thing has been written here, this is how finally we derive this equation. This is uh, this is T batch. T batch is coming at will be like this, and, uh, and this will be uh, this will be little bit problem. This will be like this. So some mistake is there. You can correct it, and uh, the total batch time will be equal to batch time, total time of the batch process is the batch time plus down time. What do you mean by down time? Time required for taking out the uh, liquid and time required to clean the vessel and time required to refill the vessel that is we consider as the down time. And what is the, what do you mean by uh, 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 that you know down time means that there is no reaction. So, sometime down time also we call it the idle time. Idle time. What is idle time? Idle time means no reaction take place. That is why we call it idle time. Okay. So, so this is how we can we can we can find out the batch process, the time required for the batch process. Now, if you come to the continuous process, the situation is little bit simpler and batch that uh, that this process is very easy to operate. You can see this is the reactor and here I told you whenever you operate any kind of continuous start tank reactor, first you have to operate it in a in a <coughs> in a batch mode. First you operate in a batch mode and then let the reaction take place when you get the maximum rate of reaction, then you continuously feed the substrate and take out the product from the other end. And then when you operate for infinite period of time, you will find the concentration of substrate and concentration of product remain constant and that, that we consider as a steady state. Stay, what is, so, what do you mean by steady state? Well, the steady state means 
when the concentration and different parts of the reactor remains unaltered that is called steady state. Now, here that <coughs> the CSTR may be operated under steady state condition rate of substrate degradation depends on flow rate and the dilution rate. Now, what is dilution rate? Dilution rate is nothing but F by B. What is F is the volumetric flow rate. Volumetric flow rate means volume per unit time. Am I right? Now, this is equal to volume. So, V is the unit is volume. So, V B will cancel. So, it will time. So, the unit will be D. What is the unit of D? Time inverse. H R T is the hydraulic retention time equal to 1 by t. Hy what is hydraulic detention time? Hydraulic detention the how long you allow the liquid to resize in the reactor. Now, how you can we can do the material analysis the same formula we can have rate of input equal plus rate of generation equal to rate of output rate of consumption accumulation. Now, since we are doing the substrate balance. So, in case of substrate no product generation no, no su substrate generation is there. So, we can write rate of input F equal to S0. What is the output F into S? F into S is the output. You can see this is the input that we have. And what is the consumption of substrate minus Rs into V? Now, if you write this equation, we can you can write this equation in this form that F this equation we have we have this form and uh, and this equation we have uh, if you if you look at this equation with the f0 into equal to fs plus minus rs rs is the equal velocity of reaction what is velocity of reaction this you can express as v max s divided by km plus s now <coughs> this is exactly what we have written here and uh, So, this is final expression will be like this that a b uh, that the b I can take it this side. So, this will be d the, the dilution rate into s 0 minus s equal to v max s. So, this is we can. So, this is this is uh, this is equal to this and uh, and uh, since the dilution rate that you know that uh, is like this. So, 1 by d is the uh, d is the hydraulic retention time. So, from that I can easily find out that uh, what is the space time required in this reactor. How we can find out? Let me show you this. Uh, um, suppose we can we can we can write this. This is equal to d equal to I can write what I can write d equal to b max. S divided by km plus S. Am I right? Now <coughs> this is divided by one by S zero minus S. And what is this? This is equal to. I can write this is the dilution rate equal to F by D. And uh, one by D is equal to what? <coughs> what the HRT? HRT. And this is actually HRT is nothing but space time. Space time of the CSTR. That means how we express tau CSTR. So how we how you can write the expression? This is inverse. So how we can write the tau CSTR? Tau CSTR will be equal to S zero minus S divided by V max S k m plus S. So we can easily find out this tau CSTR. Now, let me talk about uh, this uh, plug flow reactor. Now, plug flow reactor I told you it is also can be operated under steady state conditions that, uh, um, but you know plug flow reactor, plug flow I do, what I do, told you that plug flow is in the something similar to the piston flow. What do you mean by piston flow? Piston flow is the ideal flow. Suppose there is a piston here and when it piston goes the we assume the the velocity across this uh, cross section is uniform, but in actual case when liquid pass through any kind of tube, tube, then we have 
gradient of velocity. We have like this, we have gradient of as the liquid close to the ball surface, then the velocity will be reduced. Why it is reduced? Due to the friction between the liquid and the wall surface, so the, there is the friction and due to the friction, the velocity of the liquid will be reduces to a great extent. So, um, and and uh, but uh, that is uh, that in case of piston flow, this the, the, the is considered as the ideal flow because the, we assume there is no velocity gradient across the cross section of this. Now, in a true sense, when you uh, when you have lamella flow, we have gra velocity gradient across the cross section of the tube, but when you uh, lamellar flow tends to the turbulent flow, then velocity gradient will be minimized. Now, how you can do this analysis of the reactor? Here, we, we, this is suppose this is the reactor that we have, this is the input one end. I told you in this, uh, in this there is no back mixing, no axial mixing is there. Or, but there will be radial mixing. Suppose radial mixing means suppose this is a tube, and uh, here here you can have radial mixing. Circular there will be mixing, but there is no mixing in the axis. That is that is actually the taking place. Now for analysis this reactor, what do you do? We take a differential segment. This is the differential segment where um, where we, we we this is the F that is the input, and what is the uh, F is the flow rate in. F is the flow rate out, but substrate here substrate concentration is the S Z here S Z plus del Z del Z del Z is the width of the particular differential unit. So I can write F into S Z that is the rate of input of substrate. F into S Z plus del Z is the output, and minus R S into A A is the A is the area cross sectional area. If you multiply it by this uh, into z, you will get the volume of this. This volume, is if you assume to be del v, del v equal to nothing but equal to z into del z into a. So I can I can write it with del v is equal to del z into a. A is the cross sectional area. So, this is the nothing but the volume of the reactor and if you solve it, it will come in this particular form. And then, then we again we, we if we if we do the integration that uh, of this uh, this uh, the u versus u, what is the u? Is the velocity, u is the that uh, how you calculate the u? Because uh, if I if I assume that you know the flow rate, the F is the flow rate. Am I right? F is the flow rate, and uh, uh, this is a volumetric flow rate. You see that uh, what you can do that uh, this is uh, this is the volume that you have, and this is the U. U is the What you have? This is the volumetric flow rate, and this is the area. This is the volumetric flow rate, and this is the area. Volumetric flow rate is the volume per unit time, and what is the area? Cross-sectional area is uh, centimeter square, or you know that you know uh, per unit uh, that length square. So this volume is the length cubed. So this this will cancel will be length. Length by time is equal to uh, the velocity. So this is. Exactly that we have shown shown here, and then uh, if we if we do this, this will be equal to u into uh, uh, limit. Uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, can be uh, uh, integrated, and and this equation will comes like this. And finally, we we come across this. Uh, this is the equation that we have. That is u into d s by d z equal to v max s by k m plus s, and uh, this is equal to one by u where that d z equal to this this one, and finally that uh, we we have this equation l by u equal to one by v max, and by this now oh, I want to point out l l means length, am I right? And what is u is the velocity, length per unit time. 
So what will happen that uh, if you if you if you this length length will cancel, and this is equal to nothing but tau plus two reactor, and this is one by V max K m is zero is uh, and if you if you if you if you look at this equation, it is same as uh, compared to the batch process. Batch process we have the similar expression with that. So that is why we have written the batch time. Uh, the space time of plug flow reactor same as required the batch process for the particular reaction now uh, i want to i want to show you the solution of a particular problem to make this uh, things very clear because because the final uh, objective of the reactor analysis is just to find out the volume of the reactor now this is a very interesting problem the glucose is converted to fructose by using glucose isomerase enzyme Initial glucose concentration in the reaction mixture is 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 200 grams per liter. Degree of conversion is 60 percent. Calculate the volume needed for 10 kg fructose production. Now, <coughs> the enzyme we use glucose isomerase. What is the happening? The glucose is converted to fructose, and fructose is 10 times sweeter than glucose. So this is used largely in the confectionery industry to convert. Uh, glucose into fructose. Now, we, so with this uh, particular reaction, we want to find out which reactor will be good in the batch reactor, CSTR, and plug flow reactor. And these are the different values that is Vmax and KM value, and other value this given in the problem. Now, the basic stoichiometry of this equation is like this uh, one mole of glucose produce one mole of fructose. This is the stoichiometry we have. Now, now, in the batch reactor, what we have already derived this equation, am I right? That in the batch, we have this, so, so now Vmax value is given here, Km value is given here, X, I, I show, have shown you, X is, uh, what is, X A, X A is the fraction of substrate that is converted, this is S by S0, am I right? So, um, I have shown you this. So, if you put this value directly, you will get uh, this is the volume of the reactor is coming 2.3 hours. And then we can find out the total time. What is the total time? The batch time plus idle time. Idle time is 4 hours. So, total is that. Now, one when we want to calculate the volume of the batch, first we shall have to find out how many batch you have to operate per day. So this is 3.8 batches. So you, how much product you have to produce 10 kg of fructose. So per batch how much uh, how much product is to be produced is divided by 3.8. So you will get 2.63 kg of product. And for this product how much substrate is required? Glu gluco glucose is required 2.6 because one gram of glucose produce one gram of fructose. So, 60 percent conversion of substrate is there. So, you can easily find out how much glucose is required for the batch process. Now, if you know then how much glucose is required for the batch process and this is the initial concentration of substrate. The concentration of substrate was 20 gram per liter and this can be <laughs> expressed as 20 kg per cubic meter. So, this is exactly what we have seen done and this is coming at 0 0.022 cubic meter. So, what is the volume is coming in the batch process is 22 uh, liters. Now, when you come to the CSTR, tau CSTR that we have already derived this equation S0 minus S minus R S then push this equation in this form, put this we, we find this the time required for the uh, CSTR process 2.36, 2.36 uh, that hours. Then we find out that how much product you have to produce 10 kg per day. Am I right? 10 kg product per day. We have to, for the 10 kg product, how much substrate is required? 60 percent conversion of substrate. Though you divide by 0 0.6, so it is coming 16.767 kg per day. So per day, that means uh, uh, how much substrate is consumed per hour? you divide by 24 hours because one day is uh, 24 hours. So, it is coming 0.7 kg per hour. So, uh, so, how much actual substrate is required this and what is the initial substrate concentration 200 
uh, kg per cubic meter. And what is the volume we get? This is about 3.6 into this is the below the this is the flow rate we get and we, if we this flow rate if we multiply it by CSTR the tau CSTR we will get the volume and volume we are getting 8.26. So from this we can conclude that when you operate the continuous process the volume of the reactor is drastically reduced that uh, that you can easily find out from these calculations. Now, similarly, we can do the calculation for the plug flow reactor. We have this equation, and this is similar to your batch process. So, same time you will get, but only thing is, is that the conversion of this with respect to uh, this uh, that similar to as CSTR. So, we find out how much substrate is required, same amount of uh, substrate is required per hour. This, this we can easily find out, and and then flow rate the same flow rate what we observe, observe for CSTR same flow rate we will get. Now, for the, this uh, flow rate if you multiply it with tau's plug flow reactor we will get the volume. So, in short if you if you find out that if you summarize all the all the things then what we will get we will get the volume in case of batch process is coming 22 hours in CSTR 8.26 and plug flow reactor 8.07. That means, uh, the, our design should be plug flow reactor because if we recommend what reactor is suitable for this process, we, we should go for plug flow reactor. So, uh, what, I, what I conclude in this lecture that this is uh, vital in the sense that how this uh, reactor analysis can be applied in the, the enzymatic reaction system. And uh, we here also we try to analyze both batch reactor, uh, CSTR, and the plug flow reactor. And we have uh, we have taken and we try to find out the mathematical equation with respect to T batch, with respect to tau CSTR, with respect to tau plug flow reactor. And once you, we have that, then we can easily find out for a for producing a certain amount of product, how much time is required for the batch process, how much time is required for the uh, continuous CSTR and plug flow reactor that we can easily find out. And once we know the time, then we shall have to, in case of continuous process, we shall have to find out the flow rate, then we can find out the volume of the reactor. And when you compare all this, and whatever which reactor, which process having the lower, uh, smaller size, that will be our uh, design of the reactor. This is how we can design the reactor. Thank you very much.